Welcome to the Thursday edition of the Spark Creativity Teacher Podcast, a podcast for English teachers in search of creative teaching strategies. Whether you're new around here or a longtime listener, I'm so glad you're here for today's edition of Highly Recommended. This week, I've got a productivity tip to give you so much more focused time in your classroom. So let's talk about email and how often you check it. I can still remember the exact feeling of sitting in my kneeling desk in my very first classroom, watching red flags spring up in the eight different inboxes in my first class email dashboard. I don't know what your email looks like, but mine was a little square on my screen with all kinds of little further squares inside the square. And no sooner would I zero out my personal inbox than I would see some new announcement to all the teachers or all the coaches or all the advisors or a question pop up in one of my classes. It was kind of like playing whack-a-mole, trying to respond to everyone all day long. I would get rid of all the little red flags and then another little red flag would spring up. But I worked hard at it. Every time I was free before school, between classes, before lunch, after lunch, before practice, before bed, (laughs) I'd quickly log in so I could reduce the stacking emails in every single conference. Whack, whack, whack. It felt productive, and so it went on for years, really. Want to know how much I check my email now? Once a day. Unless I really, really can't get through it all. Then I might follow up later after turning my attention to other bigger projects that need me more. Here's the thing. Your inbox will be as demanding as you let it be. If you feel like you have to respond to everyone within 20 minutes, I mean, that's really great for them and that's what they'll expect from you. But then you're putting your attention into other people's priorities a lot of the time, and that can be exhausting. You get back to them immediately with whatever they need. They may realize they need something else. They follow up. They email you again. You're again committing your time to their needs. For almost everything I find, a day is a totally reasonable turnaround time. Sitting down to respond to emails when you really have the time and energy instead of task switching in and out of your inbox constantly to make progress can be a huge time saver. And it's not just a time saver. It's it's like a priority saver. It's an energy saver. It's a mood saver. Emails, as we all know, can be great. They can be full of good news. They can also be frustrating. They can make you feel upset and angry. The last thing you want is to read a really difficult email 10 seconds before your students walk in for class and then spend that entire class period while you're teaching dwelling on that email, trying to figure out how you're going to respond, feeling defensive about something somebody said. Or similarly, the last thing you want as you're leaving at the end of the day or going into lunch or going to bed is to feel overwhelmed by some announcement that you just read or to have your mind kicking into high planning gear because you suddenly realize there's there's something you need to do soon and <laughs> you weren't expecting it. If you can just set aside one chunk of focused time in the day and and really go through your email thoughtfully, deal with the things that have to be dealt with, respond, serve other people's needs as you need to, and then reserve all those little in-between times and 10-minute times before classes and lunch and bedtime for other priorities, things that are important to you. Maybe it's like time when you have a chance to be creative and do a little bit of exciting creative research or planning, or maybe it's time for you to just take some breaths or or put up your daily agenda on the board in a really thoughtful way that makes you feel like you are so ready for class or batch some photocopies <laughs> or whatever. If you if you add up all that email time, if you're doing email the way I did for like a decade, you are going to find that you actually have a lot of time for other things. And because you're not doing that task switching back, forth, back, forth, back, forth between things, you'll save a lot of time because your mind will really be in your inbox while you're checking. So anyway, try it. Try 
checking your email once, maybe twice a day, and see if you feel more free. See if you feel more free with your mood. See if you feel more free with your time for other things that are more rewarding and interesting for you. If you've ever felt like you're caught in an email hamster wheel that never ends, this week I just want to highly recommend you try this as an experiment. Check it once or twice instead of 10 or 15 times. Do that for a week and see if it's a win for you. Thanks so much for joining me today as I kind of got up on my soapbox about email. I didn't realize I was quite so passionate about this, but there you go. It has really made a difference in my life and I hope it will for you too. Until next time, take care of yourself and stay creative.